But guys, remember how I mentioned that I was gonna get a new truck? I was gonna get rid of the i8 and get a truck. What do you guys think? Big old F-150. You guys see me driving this thing, right? I'm just kidding, I didn't get a truck. My car is actually getting serviced and so I had to get a rental truck. And uh, it's not gonna be done today, so. Yeah, I got a truck. I got a, uh, a truck, but uh, I don't think I could drive this. The story today is about big vehicles, sort of, but I just can't see myself driving a truck. I don't know, this is cool to rent for a day, cool to chug along in, but I love my sports cars and I love, I love that car, so. It's just a loner, I'll have the IA back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, maybe Thursday, I don't know. Anyways, let's jump into the video, guys. All right, so huge, huge, gigantic news from Amazon yesterday slash today. They are starting their own delivery service, delivery company process, whatever the heck you want to call it. Amazon has ordered 20,000 additional Mercedes AMG Sprinter delivery vans on top of the 5,000 that they ordered three or four months ago. I have an amazing video about it, about making $300,000 being a delivery driver for Amazon. It's linked down below. I'll link it again at the end of the video. Check it out. Come back. Watch this story. Amazon is in it to win it, man. Jeff Bezos doesn't play around. Those of you that don't know, uh, Amazon is buying all of these Sprinter delivery vans in order to handle the end of the delivery, which means the local area. They call it the last mile. It's not exactly a mile, but you know, just the area. They're not going to be flying Amazon's not buying, buying jets to fly packages from city to city, but they're going to do the local delivery. <laughs> well, let me bite my tongue. Amazon isn't buying jets yet to do delivery across the country. They're just going to do the last mile. Give Jeff Bezos time. I'm sure it's coming. But uh, this is huge crushing news to USPS, UPS, and FedEx. In fact, I'll show you later in the video. Their stocks just took a dive today. Um, FedEx the worst, the rest of them a little bit. Uh, USPS doesn't have a stock, but you know what I mean. Um, crushing news to them and big ups to uh, to Jeff Bezos, man. He is dominating, taking over the world. And it's the reason why after Apple, they're now the second $1 trillion company. So let's check out just what Amazon's got in the works, what they're planning on doing. And man, this is happening now. Right now, the, the vans are being produced, sent to Amazon, and by 2019, they will be on the road. So, whoa. All right, you guys, I can't explain to you how ginormous, huge, ridiculous this story is, and I didn't see it coming this big this soon. So Amazon has indeed confirmed they have ordered 20 thousand mercedes-benz vans the one you see here in the picture for their new delivery service now previously when we talked about the story where they were looking for drivers for the three hundred thousand dollars a year job potential whatever they had ordered five thousand so this will bring their entire uh fleet up to twenty five thousand mercedes-benz delivery vans now why is that significant well let me tell you in the numbers why it's significant so the USPS, the UPS, and FedEx, those would be the three largest delivery companies, they handle a ton of Amazon packages. So let's pretend like Amazon took all that business away from those three companies. How much business would those three combined lose? Billions, billions of dollars for Amazon to do the last mile delivery on its own. Now, they're not saying they're gonna do the complete delivery, the last mile delivery. Those of you that don't know, a lot of packages would still travel to and from cities and hubs using other, um, you know, like USPS, for example, or UPS or FedEx, but the last mile is still billions of dollars in business that they're going to lose. So as we scroll down, we find out that 53% um, actually of all delivery is the last mile. And so I'll go over this story in full. I'll link it for you guys. But what's the craziest is if we come over here to Inc. and check out their story on it, they actually break down the number of vans and delivery vehicles that USPS, UPS, and FedEx have total. So FedEx Ground has 60,000 motorized vehicles. That would put Amazon almost up to half, not quite, but almost up to half. The UPS 
uh, company has 94,000 total vehicles, including cars, van, tractors, and motorcycles. They have 119,000 worldwide. It looks like 94,000 of those are in the U.S. So they would be about 25 to 30% of UPS's fleet. And the USPS has 100,000 LLVs, which are the slope hooded vans you see. I believe I read somewhere that the U.S. Post Office has like 200,000 total vehicles. So still like 10, 15% of the USPS, but you're talking about, you know, or up to 20% of their size. You're talking about in a matter of months, Amazon creating its own delivery company out of thin air, ordering 20,000 vans. Now I looked up the retail price of a Mercedes Sprinter van. And if we look retail price of Mercedes um, sprinter vans, which is essentially what they're ordering. I'm sure they're customized. I'm sure they paid. These things are only $33,000. You would think they'd be a lot more. So I was just basing my numbers off of, I, I was thinking they were like 40 grand. And so we'll just do $35,000 times 20,000 more vans they ordered today comes out to $700 million, $700 hundred million dollars they just spent on these vans plus the other five thousand they bought originally they're almost a billion dollars into vans alone so that is pretty staggering to think about amazon spending that much money to start a delivery service but they also said they were hiring hundreds of people to run these routes now they're talking about thousands of people i mean they're literally creating a whole new business out of thin air and this is going to crush FedEx, UPS, and the USPS. So look at FedEx's stock price for the day. Down $14, 5.5% FedEx dropped today. Now, in the grand scheme of things, it could certainly rebound you know, tomorrow, but that's one drop, one day. Let's look at UPS's stock. Now, the USPS doesn't have a stock price. UPS only dropped a little under a dollar, which is less than 1% for them. So UPS did okay uh, I believe it's because FedEx is actually handling a lot more of the last mile for um, Amazon than UPS is. Correct me if I'm wrong. I think UPS handles less. UPS handles all of like the hub to hub in the air. I believe they do more of that as opposed to FedEx ground. I, I think that, that the, the more would be set on FedEx and that's why they got crushed worse. That's my guess. Maybe I'm wrong about that. I don't know. But anyways, um, this is just staggering news coming out of out of Amazon and out of the delivery world. This is going to change things and they could eventually end up, you know, handling all these packages and causing these other companies to have to possibly raise their prices. I don't know what this could could lasting effect on other platforms like eBay or Poshmark or Macari or any of these other platforms that use primarily the USPS. Um, it, it's staggering just to think about. So another piece of this um, story that's interesting is that uh, the manufacturer of the Mercedes-Benz uh, Sprinter, which is Daimler AG, is making the delivery for Amazon a priority, saying the first Sprinter out of the new production was delivered to Amazon. They are manufactured in North Charleston, South Carolina. I don't know if their production is um, having some issues right now with all the flooding. I don't know that it is, but it might. Uh, but the purchase of the 20,000 vans will make Amazon the world's largest Sprinter van customer. Duh. Um, initially, Amazon was looking to use businesses who already have their own fleet of 20 to 40 vehicles or allow entrepreneurs to create delivery companies by purchasing new vans. The new plan will farm out the Sprinter vans to fleet management companies. They, in turn, will buy and lease them to local small businesses to provide the delivery of the last mile. So essentially, they want you know small business owners like you or me or people that might already have existing small delivery businesses to complete the last mile for them, and they will be leasing these vans through the company into Amazon. And Amazon's also going to provide the delivery technology, the uniforms, the insurance, the fuel, and more. Because like we talked about, the cost of the last mile is 50 Three percent of the overall total cost. Uh, people think that they're competing with FedEx, UPS, and USPS. Others just say they're trying to lower their expenses and their costs of doing business, which is true. It's absolutely true. They're trying to you know lower their expenses by doing it cheaper than they can with the other companies. But 
trust me, they nobody buys 20, 25,000 vans, creates their own delivery service just to lower their own costs. They do it to compete and essentially try to crush the competition. Amazon crushes its competition. At no point has Amazon gone into a business venture or something on this scale and just gone in just to exist. They, they go in to win. I mean, Jeff Bezos is ruthless. So keep that in mind. Um, I'm interested. What do you guys think about this? Uh, I'll link the video down below. Uh, the original story that, uh, you know, ended up, my video ended up getting like 340,000 views on it about the delivery program, about owning your own business and, um, and making $300,000 a year, I guess, is the, the claim. You have to read through it and decide for yourself. The comment section was, uh, on fire on that video. So check that out. I'll link it below, but also comment on this one and tell me what you guys think about this crazy announcement from Amazon starting their own delivery business with 20,000 to 25,000 new Mercedes Benz vans. Until next time, guys, hold on to your seats. Enjoy the video. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much, and I will see you next time.